Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I know. I uh, I have other videos that I still haven't posted yet, but, or, you know, production. But I um, want to do this because, you know, winter season's coming. You guys that live in the northeast and, uh, so yeah, I'm up in the northeast where we got, you know, plowing, snow, salt, rock salt, dirt. Um, this stuff, I see it everywhere. Just got it at Home Depot. Blaster surface shield. Um, I had to, it didn't say it on the can, but if you look underneath, it shows bottom underneath. Apply it to rust. Uh, it's got lanolin, so if you don't like, um, I needle scaled my truck already and wire brushed it a little bit, but you can put it over existing rust and we'll probably have to reapply a coat after like a week. Um, it didn't say it on the can, but I went on the website. It takes an hour to dry so we're gonna apply this um i'm not sure how much i paid got the receipt like i said i got a home depot um very windy guys i paid uh 19 bucks so eight bucks can um i don't know like different states but like i said i'm gonna under my uh, truck and we'll see how it goes all right guys as you see there's rust right there but if you look at how thick it is it's non-drip which is nice and it sticks i had um rust-oleum um undercoat on it for a while but you gotta redo it so but you can spray this right to the rust existing rust. If you look, I'll show you how it comes out. See? How it comes out. It does supposed to last uh, every about a year. I'm supposed to do it for every once a year. So 12 months. But I heard this stuff dries an hour, doesn't stick, it's got lanolin. So if you have a lot of surface rust that you didn't needle scale or didn't flake off, I mean if you look under here I'm gonna eventually do my whole truck, but I just wanted to prevent it for the winter um, so I get any worse. And I want to um, sand the whole truck, do some little body fill, uh, paint it, and trade her in. But just thought I'd show you that, guys. Uh, I'm gonna do some more and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, so I finished the undercoating. I wanted to show you guys, <clears throat> if you look at it, it has like a wet and tacky still look to it. <clears throat> I don't know, there's some spots like that, which are heavily sprayed. I don't know if that's that dry or what, but I don't know, let me touch it. So like right here, I don't know, it's still, it's weird how it dries though, if you look. It's still kind of like, got a tacky look, but I sprayed right there and all underneath and all up in the front. So we'll find out. You can see too, like all up in there and see how it's like drying. It's still got like a tacky look to it. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this stuff's gonna hold up and work, but uh, it's supposed to work pretty good. But I also do have read <clears throat> that it also can like, after you spray it, certain metal parts and the rust is flaky, you have to do some touch-ups. But I don't know, we'll find out. We'll see all up in there, you see it's all nice and wet. This, I sprayed the top of the A-arm. That seems to come off. And you see it's got like a yellowish, I don't know how to say it, bubbly, bubbly look. <clears throat> Sorry guys, hard. I'm trying to. It's a little dark outside. Just trying to get it. But also, what I've read from experience that with this stuff also... I notice you gotta shake it up real good. See, see, 
on certain pots it looks like I haven't even sprayed it sprayed the hell out of it probably gonna have to do some touch up you're not supposed to drive either I mean it's still wet kind of in certain places you're not supposed to drive for a certain amount it says it dries in an hour who knows I drove I am gonna do some touch-ups I ran out but hopefully I'll check back tomorrow what I know it's supposed to rain but yeah all right there we go but um yeah so what I did notice and what I read from the forums as well is if you uh, comes with the little red straw like on WD you shake it up half the can once for some reason I'm on all the cans um, I only I should have bought four I bought two <clears throat> excuse me I did most of the truck I have probably a quarter of it to go uh, I'm gonna buy two more just in case but with that said I noticed um, even when I read it and I had the same problem half the can won't spread you gotta take that little red straw out and it like gunks up I don't know why you can blow it out I don't recommend it um, there is some overspray that says no drip but got a few drips not much not not much but I'm pretty happy with it so far I am going to uh, go back touch up there's a few places it looks like it's dry but we shall see and I'll do an update in about a week um, tomorrow I am gonna touch it up and see what happens excuse me not tomorrow Tuesday Tuesday today yeah tonight Sunday so I'll do a touch up on Tuesday so then like Sunday ish next weekend I'll do a follow up and see how it goes but other than that it looks like it's gonna be pretty decent stuff so if you've used this the PG uh, surface shield the blaster surface shield let me know uh, this is my first time using it so I don't know they say it's better than um, fluid film and all that other stuff so let's give it a world all right guys leave a message comment uh, if you like this video thumbs up don't it helps um till then i'm out